welcome to the Client Administration Tool, otherwise known as CAT. CAT is a program that allows administrators to update media content through the internet. As long as the signage player is connected to a network that has access to the internet, CAT will be able to control and maintain playlists, message files, and normal operation commands like powering down or rebooting. CAT will run on either Windows XP or Windows Vista. Today's demonstration will go over the basic uses of CAT and the overall layout of how the program works. We will begin in our user box. In this example, I have two players that are already turned on, labeled Example and Example 2. Currently, these players are inactive since they do not belong to a group yet. We have to create a group so that it can control each of the players, either a set of players or a single player. To create a group, I will have to go to the Tools tab, add Edit Account, click on User Group, and go to Next. Now I will create a new group, and I will name this group Test. Once I hit Finish, you will see that the group Test has been created on the left hand side. I will proceed to add the two players into the Test group. I will go back to Tools, add Edit Account, go to User Account, hit Next, Edit, and move this over to Test. Sometimes you might have to enter a password. This password is created when you turn on your MP02A player and go through those settings screens. Once I have finished, as I look on the left hand side of my cat menu, I will see that the group test has been created with the two players example and example 2 in that group. Once I select the test group, my task toggle bar up here will highlight and turn on. We'll go over a brief layout of which each of these commands are. For account, we can create group or an account username as a shortcut right here. Next, we have play, which will play all of the players in that group. Stop, which will stop all of the players in the group. We have message next, where we can create a scrolling text across the bottom to turn the message off, we simply click on that toggle bar. Next, we also have an RSS live feed, which we can get into the players as well. Volume control, video, options, which allow you to either send a playlist, download, playback, format your CF card, reboot the player, shut down the player, or check the group status. Next, we can also go to status, the capacity, CF data, and playlist. Now that we have briefly gone over how to use each group, let us go down to the playlist commander, which is down here. Here we have our local directory, remote HTTP server, or remote FTP server. These are the three locations in which you can retrieve your content so that you can play onto the MP02A player. I will grab an example from the local directory to send over to my playlist. For picture images, once we select the picture image, the ad will appear on the bottom left hand side of the screen so you can have a quick preview of each JPEG image. For videos, it will not do the same function. So if I choose Add Solutions, for example, click the right arrow, it will now appear into my playlist commander. Once we have our file over to our playlist commander, we can set the duration and the time, hour to minutes, for each of the files. Also, we can save our playlist or open an existing playlist that we have previously saved. And we also have the settings menu, which can do transition times, delete files, mute sound, or download a schedule. To play these files now, we would just simply click on the easy play, and the files will begin playing. Down here is our lo log data, CF device, and playlist. This tells you all the current up-to-date status of each of the players that you are using. 
and this is the basic layout of the CAT program, otherwise known as the Client Administration Tool for the MP02A.